Who is capable of killing Tommy Shelby? Many men have attempted it. How many men are there? Many men. Many, 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 many men. Another is added to the list in Season 6 of Peaky Blinders. Nelson, Jack. Now is the time for the Americans to go after the king. Continue watching the video till the end to find out how Tommy will beat Jack Nelson. The Lees were another small-time crime family back when the Shelbys were small-time. Billy Kimber was there. Then there was Inspector Campbell. Then there was Father John Hughes. Then there was Luca Cingretta. Then there were the Billy Boys. Then there was the IRA. Then there was Michael. And ostensibly at all times, Alfie Solomons. Gypsies, Russians, Italians, Scots, Irish Republicans, fascists, and even Shelbys have lived here. Nelson establishes himself as a key player early in the season. He's introduced as Michael's uncle, Uncle Jack, and the father of Michael's wife, Gina Gray, Anya Taylor-Joy. Nelson is of Irish origin. His clan, we learn, competes for distribution control of Boston with both the Jewish and Italian families. While he has a firm grip on the west side, Tommy Shelby's actions may upset the power balance. Tommy instructs Michael and later Gina to approach Nelson with a proposition, act as the Shelby's opium distributor in Boston, or else Tommy will supply Boston Jewish families. The proposal sets up one of the season's major tensions, with Michael vowing from the start to double-cross Tommy and kill him in order to avenge Polly's death. Nelson, on the other hand, employs a more devious strategy to bring Tommy down. Unlike some of the other historical figures featured this season, such as Oswald Mosley, Deanna Mosley, and Winston Churchill, Jack Nelson is a fictional character. The Irish gangster appears to be a creation of the authors. We don't learn much about Nelson's past, except that the first person he killed was a priest. He also admires Tommy because Nelson claims their stories are similar and that they both came from humble beginnings and built empires. Who is Jack Nelson based on? It's tempting to look to openly criminal organizations when determining who Peaky Blinders Season 6 antagonist Jack Nelson was based on. Peaky Blinders Season 6 suggests that he's based on Frank Wallace, who led the Irish-American Gustin Gang in Boston in the 1920s and 1930s. Frank Wallace was a formidable figure who was assassinated in 1931 by the Italian-American Mafia. After his death, his brother Stephen Wallace took over and may have influenced the character of Jack Nelson, especially since Italian-American gangs are mentioned as a threat to Nelson in Peaky Blinders Season 6. While Frank and Stephen Wallace may have influenced some aspects of Jack Nelson's story, Peaky Blinders creator Stephen Knight has confirmed that the show is based on a politician rather than a gangster. Peaky Blinders' Jack Nelson is based on JFK's father, Joseph Kennedy Sr. While historians have refuted the claims, criminals like Frank Costello have insisted that they worked with Joseph Kennedy on bootlegging operations, and this is where he made his first fortune. Peaky Blinders appears to be using this version of Kennedy Sr.'s history, or melding him with the Wallace brothers for the sake of the narrative by basing Jack Nelson on Joseph Kennedy. Kennedy began making huge profits in real estate after becoming a bank president at a young age. During World War I, he worked on the production of transports and warships, which led to him meeting future president Franklin D. Roosevelt. Later in life, Kennedy became particularly close to Roosevelt, was appointed chairman of the United States Maritime Commission, and served as a United States ambassador to the United Kingdom from 1938 to 1940. While Joseph Kennedy was never convicted of any crimes, there's evidence that he was involved in illegal and immoral activities. This would all fit to Gina's suggestion that Jack Nelson is attempting to project a clean image. During the 1920s, Kennedy made a lot of money in Wall Street by using illegal tactics like insider trading, but he mostly avoided the consequences of the 1929 Wall Street crash. Simultaneously, he began investing in films, production studios, and theaters. Alexander Pantages, who refused to sell Kennedy his 63 theaters, was later charged and tried for rape. While claiming that Kennedy set him up, Pantages' public image suffered, and he was forced to accept the lower offer from Kennedy for his theaters. On her deathbed, the woman who had initially accused Pantages of rape claimed that Kennedy was indeed behind the plot to frame Pantages. Using all of Joseph Kennedy's history helped Peaky Blinders create a criminal in the form of Jack Nelson who commits white-collar crimes and pursues unethical business deals in contrast to previous antagonists who were more inclined to get their hands dirty. Who plays Jack Nelson in Peaky Blinders? Peaky Blinders Season 6 Episode 2 Black Shirt introduces Jack Nelson. He meets with Tommy at a church to discuss Tommy's opium business plans. In Season 6, the actor James Freshville plays Jack Nelson. 
Cillian Murphy is 15 years younger than James Freshville, who was born in 1999. This helps to establish Jack Nelson as a part of the new world in which Tommy Shelby has no place, especially since Jack is a huge Nazi sympathizer and part of the fascist organization that Tommy wants to bring down in England. James Freshville is best known for his roles in The Try as Jamie Sullivan and Black 47 as Feeney. Jack Nelson brings Tommy's fight against fascism one step closer in Season 6. Peaky Blinder Season 6 Jack Nelson is based on Joseph Kennedy Sr., which helped elevate the series' scope, moving the threats to a more global space. Tommy arranged for Nelson to meet with Oswald Mosley. He connected the two in order to learn more about England's fascist ties, and he did. Nelson's anti-Semitic sentiments became clear as the series progressed, particularly at the penultimate dinner party held at Tommy's house. Tommy is essentially attempting to figure out how he can destabilize the fascist party in England while undermining Oswald's efforts since his failed assassination attempt. It's also obvious that Nazi sympathizers Jack Nelson has his own plan for the Shelbys. He admits to wanting to murder Arthur Shelby and threatens Billy with torture in order to turn him into an informant before his death at the hands of Duke. Peaky Blinder Season 5 also saw the unexpected return of Tom Hardy's Alfie Solomons, who returned in Season 6. To bolster his fight against the fascist, Tommy informs Alfie that his uncle was murdered by an anti-Semitic group, fueling the fire for Solomon to assist him. The Joseph Kennedy Sr.-inspired Jack Nelson is an especially apt foil for Solomons, as Kennedy was rife with anti-Semitism. Despite the fact that a figure like Kennedy is associated with the past, it's chilling to see how his statements align with the alt-growing rights popularity today. Kennedy frequently used slurs to refer to Jews in both public and private communications. In response to reports of Nazi assaults on Jews, Kennedy suggested that they brought it on themselves and told the German ambassador to the United Kingdom that he sympathized with their plans to rid the world of Jews but despised the publicity generated. Because the antagonist Jack Nelson embodies all of these views and actions, he serves as an antagonist who can unite all of the ideological battles that Thomas Shelby and his allies have fought throughout Peaky Blinders. His storyline will undoubtedly be resolved in the upcoming Peaky Blinders film. Fans can expect the film to be released in either 2024 or 2025, with filming beginning in 2023. In a new interview, lead actor Cillian Murphy admitted that he knows genuinely nothing about the film right now, revealing that he hasn't even received a script. I'd be as excited as anybody to read a script, but I think it's good for everyone to have a little break. That's always a healthy thing and then we can regroup, he said. Steve is an insanely busy and intimate writer but I know that he loves writing Peaky above all. I'm sure he's told you the same. He adores it, so I think when the time comes, if there's more story to be told, I'll be there," Cillian added. When the plot of the film is being kept under wraps for the time being, creator Stephen Knight recently revealed that he intends to focus on an untold World War II story, which sounds incredibly exciting. Tommy Shelby will make a triumphant return as the leader of the Brummie-based gang hopefully accompanied by some of our favorite Shelby family members, played by Natasha O'Keefe, Paul Anderson, Sophie Rundle, Amy Fionn Edwards, Kate Phillips, and Conrad Kahn. And that's all for today's video. What do you think of this video? Do let us know in the comments below. Want to know more things about the Peaky Blinders or Thomas Shelby? Please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. See you in the next one.